Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel. I am here with a new Queen & Co card. I'm gonna show you how I made this cotton candy background using Queen & Co's new kit, Candyland. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is grab some white cardstock. It's gonna be pretty heavy weight, at least 110 pounds. I'm gonna cut it smaller than four and a quarter by five and a half because I want this to be a panel that's gonna sit inside the card base. Okay, next I'm gonna grab some double-sided adhesive. I love Thermoweb's iCraft Easy to Cut Adhesive. It is very thin, it's a double-sided adhesive, so when you're trimming it, you wanna use some nonstick scissors. Then I'm going to peel off that protective layer and I'm going to stretch out the fibers that are included in the Queen & Co kit. You want to stretch them out enough that everything that you have there is going to stick down on the card. If you have it too thick, you're going to have layers on top that are just going to fall away because they're not stuck to anything. Then you flip the card over and trim it down. To make sure that everything stays neat and tidy, I'm going to use some Thermoweb mixed media adhesive. This is a liquid adhesive and I'm just going to put a line on the edge there and then press it down. And next I'm gonna grab my four and a quarter by five and a half inch card panel, and I'm going to lay adhesive all over that center of it, leaving a tiny little border, because that is going to be the border on the outside of my cotton candy panel there. That pretty much completes the panel. So next I'm going to take an oval that I die cut. I'm gonna adhere it again with mixed media liquid adhesive because it is gonna take some work to adhere to that cotton candy. I'm cutting out with that oval Queen & Co foam front die, two strips, and then I'm going to also cut out the little wrapped candy from another sheet of pattern paper from the Candyland collection. So I'm gonna do these because I'm going to create a shaker on my card. And so I wanna make sure that I can customize the outside of the shaker with that little candy wrapper. And you can see the pink houndstooth is just adorable. I'm also going to save that little circle from the inside. So now those strips that I cut with the oval foam front frame die there. I'm going to adhere to the top and bottom of the oval and they fit in just like puzzle pieces. You'll be able to find where the edges meet the oval and that's the place to adhere them. Now I'm going to pop up the center of my little shape there and I'm going to adhere it down to the middle of my card, put a little tape runner behind that circle that we saved and put that inside. Next, I'm going to grab some of the toppings. I adore these toppings. They look just like those flat round sprinkles that you can buy, those little candies. They're so adorable. I wanted to mix it up and to have two colors inside there, so I'm going to grab another one of the toppings. These are the little round ones, and they're a darker pink, so I think that that really coordinates well with that darker purple background, but and just adds a little bit of interest. I peel off the top protective layer of the foam and put my acetate down. All of these are included in the Candyland kit. Everything is die cut for you as far as the acetate and the foam. Next, I'm gonna put a little Memory Runner XL, which is Tape Runner, just on the circular part, and that completes my shaker there once I adhere that down to the acetate. I've grabbed that pink houndstooth again and I'm going to stamp a sentiment. This stamp set is included in the kit as well and it says, hey sweetie. Next, I'm gonna pull out my Tim Holtz Tonic Studios guillotine trimmer. I'm gonna line up the top of it the sentiment right on that clear barrier there. That's gonna give me, and then I decide I actually want a little bit more cut off, but pretty much that's gonna give me an even edge on the top and bottom, which makes me super happy. And then I'm gonna cut some tails by cutting into the center of the banner and then cutting from the edges towards that center again. And I'm not super great at this. For some reason I always screw it up, but it's fine. I just end up taking a little bit more off that way. Okay, next I'm going to adhere this whole card panel down to a card base. This is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch top folding note card. And I just wanna line my white card panel with the cotton candy part all lined up on that card base. 
And then I'm going to take my flag sentiment there, my little banner, and I'm going to pop it up with a little bit of foam adhesive and try and figure out if I want it on the top, on the bottom, where it's going to go. I think it like I like it right there underneath the little bit of candy. And I like that it's popped up as well. So here's the giveaway. I have three foam front dies that were extras from Queen & Co. And they said I could give them away. So you saw that I used the oval in this card, but I'm gonna link to some other cards at the end of this video that I use the foam front dies to make shakers. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel. You can do that right here and leave a comment down below telling me that you are a subscriber or you just subscribed and please leave your email address. This giveaway is only open to US domestic because I can't afford international shipping. I wanna thank you so much for stopping by today. All the products will be linked down below. Have a wonderful day.